What is up everybody? It's Jordan with On The Coast Realty here, and today we are talking pros and cons of living in Wilmington, NC. So let's get started with the pros. Number one on the list, pretty obvious choice in my opinion, the beaches. The beaches here in Wilmington are incredible and there are an abundance of options to choose from. The most famous beach in Wilmington is probably Wrightsville Beach, but we also have family friendly Carolina Beach, the colorful houses of Curry Beach, and history laden Fort Fisher. Wilmington's also home to the beautiful uninhabited nature preserve of Masonboro Island, which is only accessible by boat. Another really cool thing Wilmington has to offer is the Intercoastal Waterway, which runs behind Wrightsville, Carolina, and Masonboro beaches, and is an absolute paradise for boating enthusiasts. So long story short, regardless of what beach vibe you're looking for, pretty good chance Wilmington will have you covered. Next on the list of Wilmington pros is the weather. So if you're someone like me that enjoys having seasons but doesn't want the scorching hot summers or the feet of snow in the winter, Wilmington is the perfect place for you. Wilmington enjoys a super pleasant subtropical climate characterized by mild winters and warm summers. Temperatures only drop below freezing a few times a year. For the most part, we stay below 90 in the summer. It is a little humid, but there's almost always a nice breeze to help offset that. So the spring and the fall are definitely the prime time for the weather here. We'll have literally weeks where every single day 70 and sunny, not a cloud in the sky. It's just hard to beat. Another really cool thing about living in Wilmington is its accessibility to travel. Wilmington International Airport, also known as ILM, offers direct flights to a ton of places, including Atlanta, Charlotte, Philadelphia, and New York. Speaking of travel. We also have direct access to Interstate 40, which makes it super easy to get to the Raleigh-Durham area to the west. We have Highways 17 and 74 as well, which provides access from the north and south. It's really easy to travel in every direction. So another really cool thing about living in Wilmington is the entertainment scene. Wilmington has an incredible cultural scene, with several live music venues that honestly draw pretty massive acts a multitude of theaters, top shelf art galleries, and several film festivals hosted here as well. You honestly have tons of options for live entertainment every day of the week. And finally, my personal favorite thing about living in this city is the laid back lifestyle. So this one's really tough to quantify, but the best way I can explain it is on top of everyone being friendly, no one ever seems to be in a hurry. Beach towns offer a serene and laid back atmosphere that really contrasts with the fast paced nature of the busy city life. I lived in a bigger city for a few years and always just felt like everybody was in a rush, something you don't see here at all. On top of that, multiple studies have shown that spending time by the ocean helps lower stress levels and enhance mental wellness. So long story short, not only will you love living here, it'll be good for you too. All right, so time to get to the cons. Let's go on and start with the elephant in the room, hurricanes. Located on the Atlantic coast, Wilmington's obviously pretty susceptible to hurricanes and tropical storms. We typically see one or two tropical storms a year, and maybe once a decade a major hurricane will come through. As scary as this sounds, one big positive to keep in mind is that Wilmington's ready for this. Similar to a northern city being well equipped for snowstorms, Wilmington has the infrastructure and emergency policies in place to weather these storms as smoothly as possible. Additionally, after Hurricane Florence a few years ago, a vast majority of the electrical grid was replaced with new state-of-the-art equipment. Personally, I haven't lost power for more than 24 hours in any of the storms since Florence in 2018, which anyone that's spent extended time without the power knows how big of a deal that is. So long story short, hurricanes are just part of living on the coast. You know, it's a risk that you take. There's pros and cons, obviously, if you didn't see the title of this video, and that's just one of the cons. Honestly, I think Wilmington is about as prepared as they can possibly be for when the hurricanes hit, so you just kind of got to hunker down and, and enjoy the ride. 
The second con of living in Wilmington is the traffic. As Wilmington continues to grow, traffic congestion has gradually become worse and worse. During peak times, you may experience delays and heavy traffic on major roadways, especially near popular beach areas and shopping districts. The city and NC DOT have been trying their best to stay ahead of it, but so far they've been struggling to keep up. Now don't get me wrong, if you're coming from a big city, you'll think the traffic here is a breeze. But compared to where it was 10 years ago, it's definitely gotten a good bit worse. So another con to living in Wilmington is the limited job market. So this is kind of a self-inflicted wound, because most people that move to Wilmington never want to leave. We have thousands of graduates every year from the two big colleges in town that saturate the job market quite a bit. Wilmington does have a diverse economy, but the job market definitely isn't as robust as what you would find in a major city. There are certain industries that are pretty prominent, but job opportunities in other sectors can definitely be limited. So another negative to living here in Wilmington is the higher cost of living. While compared to other coastal cities, the cost of living here isn't bad, it's definitely more expensive to live here than it is in North Carolina towns further from the coast. Housing and property tax prices are both slightly higher than the national average here as well. Good news is gas and grocery prices are both pretty consistent with the average. The final con to living in Wilmington is actually one that's really necessary for local business, tourism. So obviously Wilmington's a popular tourist destination, and for good reason. While tourism brings a ton of economic benefits to the city, it also leads to increased crowds and competition for resources, especially at the beaches. Anyone that's circled around Riceville Beach for an hour looking for a parking spot in July can definitely attest to this. Tourism drives this city, and it's an absolute necessity for keeping the place the thriving coastal mecca that it is, but it can definitely be super frustrating at times. So that concludes the list of pros and cons. Like I've said a lot before, I love living here. I think it's an amazing city. There's so many great things about it. There's gonna be cons anywhere you live. Uh, that's just kind of part of it. Personally, I can't see myself living anywhere else. If you have any other questions about living in Wilmington, please feel free to reach out. All my contact info is below. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.